Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see how to fix iMessage activation unsuccessful or activation failed error on your iPhone. If you have recently bought an iPhone or upgrading from older iPhone to new iPhone or moving from Android to iPhone, then when you try to activate iMessage or FaceTime, you may see this sort of error. An error occurred during activation. Try again and you will see just OK as an option. We will see the two important reasons why you are seeing this error and third one will be the solution. I have also published a video about iMessage for beginners where if you are new to iPhone then you can check that video. I'll leave a link to that in the description also in the first comment. That will help you to understand everything about iMessage, the features that it offers, a complete multimedia messaging service by Apple that works beautifully within the Apple ecosystem. The very first reason that you have to understand why you are unable to activate your iMessage and FaceTime is if you have recently got a new SIM card. For me in India, whenever you get a new SIM card, it takes for sending a service message to activate any phone related service, you know, like two days to three days and maximum it will be like one week but mostly after three days when you try to activate the activation will be successful. So if you have got a new sim card then you have to wait patiently for the next three days in order to activate Apple's iMessage and FaceTime on your iPhone. And the second important thing is if you have recently done a mobile number portability which in short form we call it as MNP from a different network then all your services will not be active immediately on your number. Again it will take two days to three days or maximum one week in order to use all the features that your sim can use with the new network. So you have to wait patiently for the three days at least and then you have to try to activate the iMessage. For me in India Airtel network and BSN network both mobile network service providers also ISPs have this activation related problem with the iPhone iMessage and FaceTime for very long time. From my personal experience almost seven years before I had the same problem with Atel network and even today many people are complaining that they are unable to activate iMessage or FaceTime with these two networks specifically. So you just have to understand you are not alone and in the third step we are going to see the fixes on how to activate the iMessage and FaceTime successfully. When you navigate to settings messages there you will see the toggle for iMessage. Once you turn it on once it turns to green you have to see below that information about what is iMessage. Instead if it is not activated you will see that activation is still pending. The very first thing you have to do is make sure you have added minimum 20 rupees or above like 50 rupees balance to your mobile number. This could of course happen to people in other countries too so make sure you add some balance to your mobile number in order to use for that service message sending process. And the second important thing is once you added the balance give a couple of hours time then you can restart your iPhone once and then you can come back to the settings messages and then try to turn on the iMessage feature. So don't forget after adding balance to your number give a couple of hours time or three hours time and then come back to the settings messages section and then try to turn on iMessage as the same like in the previous page go to FaceTime and then you can try activating the FaceTime as well. For me with the Atel network or BSNL network you know immediately it won't get activated. So what I tried was connected my iPhone to Wi-Fi if it is available of course it is optional but if it is available then you can connect to Wi-Fi that nearby any Wi-Fi network and then you have to try two or four, up to maximum you know four attempts. Mostly in two to three attempts people will be able to successfully activate it but you have to try doing you know several attempts in order to successfully activate the iMessage or FaceTime if it is not activating at the first attempt itself. There under the iMessage settings once it's activated you can configure the send and receive addresses you know which shows you the phone number and the Apple ID that is enabled for iMessage. For some users once they connected to Wi-Fi you will see another button called activate Apple ID alone to use the iMessage so your mobile number will not be verified with the Apple server to enable and use the iMessage or FaceTime. So you have to make sure that you have enabled your mobile number and the Apple IDs you know whichever you want to use it for your messages and FaceTime. Time. There the similar button will be visible on the messages app as well. You can choose and activate it and then you can also select from which number or Apple ID that you want to send and receive messages from. I hope this video helped you to fix the problem. 
For more iPhone, iPad and Mac related tutorials and tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.